Hi, Mom. Hola. Hi, Morris. Hi. How are you? Good. Where are we? In Puerto Vallarta, that's right. Taking some time to enjoy the sun and I brought down my Ford F-150. Who a lot of the viewers will recognize this truck. Hey, do you love Oh my goodness, what is that? It's a boat carrying a bat boat. A boat carrying a boat? What a great it's day. A bat boat. I love that. Hey, are you gonna float that around today? Yeah, I'm floating in sand and water today. Oh, over there, hey. Down, down. Looks so nice today. Are you gonna help me uh, play with the truck today? Yep, I'm playing with the boat today. You're gonna help me with Yeah. Do you want to help me build some sand uh, hills so we can drive the truck over it? Yep, and, and, and build some sink. And build some sink to jump over with my like, <laughs> feet. Okay, that's a great idea. I could do this. Stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> Here, buddy. Okay. Go help Dad. You oh, gotta build I'll a big mountain. Boat. I bring my boat. Yes, you can bring your boat. Hey Mo, what are you doing? Uh, building a track with that. Ah, building a track. Look at that. It's like you guys are professional track builders. Don't miss a few times, eh? Yeah, nice. Nice and smooth so it can drive up and over. There, nice. Have you seen our show before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Hey, Knuckles. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> what an awesome community down here, my friends. Here we are in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We're having a great time on a family vacation and you know me, I couldn't come down here without bringing a radio control car. My family is here on the beach. We've been here for a couple of days now and we thought, what's up, Jim? Hi, huh? right now. Say hi, Morris. Hi. Hi. What's on your shirt? Is that, who, who is that? All right, I love it, dude. Looking good, man. Are we gonna run the truck today? Yep. Is it one of your favorites? Uh, actually, Optimus is my favorite. Optimus is your favorite? Well, absolutely. That brings me to a very interesting point, my friends. A lot of people over the years have asked me what kind of RCs they should be bringing down to the beach with them. How do they transfer or transport their lipos safely? Uh, and these are two things I'm going to touch on right now. So number one, if you know where you're going, if you're going down to the ocean, if you're going down to a sandy place, make sure that you're aware that any kind of metal screws, nuts, bolts, that kind of thing, you're opening it up to a very salty air. And with salty air and humidity, more than likely by the time you get home, you're going to have seized nuts and screws and bolts and things like that because it rusts so quickly. So I don't always bring my favorite trucks, even though all my RCs are some of my favorites, of course, but there are things like Optimus Prime that really don't make sense for me to bring down here, A, because they're way too big, uh, B, I like to store things uh, in my checked luggage, uh, and I normally like to wrap them up so they're fairly safe. For those that don't know, when you travel on an airplane and you put your luggage into the belly of the beast, you're getting stacked with a whole bunch of other people's luggage. Now this isn't the first video we've done down in Mexico. In fact, Everett was down here with us a few years ago and we were running with the Vatera Twin Hammers. I think at the time I had my uh, Trail Finder 2 as well. Uh, and even prior before that, I brought down a custom mini crawler. So I've had a little bit of an experience with this and I gotta say, the next thing that it brings me to is how do you transport your lipos safely? Well, number one, you gotta go ahead and call uh, ahead to your airline. You have to find out what the safety regulations are uh, for you to take your lipos onto the plane. A lot of people or a lot of companies are going to be concerned uh, with the size of lipo that you're bringing. Is it a soft uh, lipo or does it have a hard case on it? A lot of them will have limitations on the amount of milliamp hours you can take. So normally, oh, actually not normally, all the time for me, I'll call ahead to find out what the regulations are. And for example, this one, I've got a two cell hard case lipo that's a 4200 milliamp hour, but it's a short pack battery. This I actually put on with my camera. A lot of people on vacations have cameras with them, 
So I'll let them know that I'm transporting my battery with my camera case and I'll either show the battery at security or I'll actually have it packed away properly in the container that they're asking me to do. Normally like a hard piece of Tupperware or something like that, but every single airline is different. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. The other thing I'm going to touch on is remember to try to bring everything you need. If you're going to think that you're going to have any kind of issue with wheel nuts coming undone, look at this, any kind of issue with wheel nuts coming undone, make sure to bring your cross wrench. Make sure to bring your uh, hex adapters so you can tighten up any kind of screws. If you have normal standard screws, make sure to bring the tools that you need because once you're here, chances are you're not going to find it. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful. I'm going to get back to my family vacation and have a little bit of fun. Is that a bat boat on the inside from Batman? Lego boat? Can you show? Does it go through the sand pretty well or have you been floating it in the ocean? Look at that sand boat. Super it's, cool. It's, it's going in the ocean too. Yeah, I know. And you know what? My it's truck good. can't go in the ocean because if any of the salt water touches the motor in there, yep. instantly my truck would stop working because why? Salt actually, oh, I hear whistles. Salt actually is a huge conductor. Look at this, we got a parasailer taking off. Here we go, nice job inflating it up. Whoa, there they go. What an amazing experience. <laughs> you want to go first or, do you, or should I go first? Well then go ahead, take your boat and go in front of Dad. We made some great bumps for you. Nice! Up and over, jump it! Woohoo! <laughs> out there this is a great way for you to tire your kid out so he can have a nap and you can have some time on your own <laughs> <laughs> that's a good public service announcement <laughs> yeah, exactly oh there's something wrong I got a broken tire uh oh uh oh seems to be the mess I'm not sure exactly what happened Oh, I see it. Oh, right, right there. there. I just had a screw pop out. It, what are you doing? You come back down? Hey, nice job, Neil. <laughs> you can't come back down. So this is exactly why I say you got to make sure to bring mm -hmm. your tools because all I had was just a simple little screw pop out there. But because I'm prepared, I get to fix it. I'm going to send my family off to the pool. I'm going to fix it. We'll get back and do some scale shooting for you.